Right, we're looking at percentage change and um, finding an original amount or or um, compound interest or repeated percentage change um, as we go. So here we go. Uh, a holiday costs £432 and so we're 40% off. What is the full price of the holiday? So we've got an amount after a percentage change and we know that that £432 is 60% of the original, so of whatever that the full price of the holiday was. So, if I was going to set out the calculation originally, it would be original price times 0 0.6, that's your 40% reduction, 100 minus, um, 100 minus 40% is 60%, 60% as a decimal is 0 0.6, equals £432. Now, if I'm going to rearrange that, I would do £432 divided by 0 0.6 to get my answer for the full price of the holiday. Now, with these, you tend to get, and it's £720. So there you go, there's my answer. With these, if you don't get a nice answer, like 720 or a reasonably nice answer, I'd go back and check it. They tend to be quite nice answers. Now, also the reason why you can't just say, well, hang on, why don't I just find 40% of 432 and add it on? Well, 40% of 432 is less than 40% of 720. So that's why that doesn't work. And so you've got to be a little bit careful, read the question carefully. Now, the second one is something called compound interest. Now, per year, they might say per annum, that means per year. All right. But what you do, if you were doing it for one year, you do 250 multiplied, now an increase of 2% um, is a multiplier of 1.02, not 1.2, that's 20%, isn't it? So 1.02, and I've got to do that six times. So I could times 1.02, get my answer, times 1.02, but I could just do it to the power six, all right, for the number of years that it's there. All right, so that's what I'm gonna type into my calculator. This is another reason why you need to bring your calculator to every lesson. Right, so you get to know how it works. If you don't know how to type that in, you're going to have to try and work it out or ask your teacher or ask me, whatever. Um, and then uh, we can do that. But it is imperative you know how to work your own calculator. Now, the answer you're going to get is £281.54. I'm going to have to round that to uh, two decimal places because it's money. Now, basically what compound interest means is you get... There's two types of interest. There's simple interest where you just get a percentage of what you originally put in. Compound interest, you get a percentage of whatever's in there. So after one year, you'd have £250 plus 2% of that £250. So you'd have a bit more. After two years, you'd have £250 plus 2% of that £250 plus 2% of what was in there again. And so hence the power of six um, work. So you're, you're essentially doing... Um, adding 2% each year. Alright, 